A dropped object is more than just inconvenient. Dropped objects can become deadly in an instant. Today we examine what can happen to a person's head when objects are dropped. Wow! The results may blow your mind. We will drop three objects of various weights from a height of 30 feet with and without proper protective gear on our unsuspecting watermelons. Our first object to drop is a structural bolt. Falling from 30 feet, this one pound bolt will have an impact of almost 3,000 pounds of force. Ready? All right, ready to start? Clear. We're Go. good. Clear. Clear. Three, two, one. Oh! oh. Wow, was that? Wow. Cool? Dang. We dropped a one pound bolt and you can see it basically sheared off the watermelon's face. Now with a hard hat. Three, two, one, drop. Whoa, that was like a gunshot. Look at that. We got some damage, yeah, right here. We do have damage down here where his neck would be. The next object to drop is a four pound sledgehammer. From a height of 30 feet, it will have an impact of around 11,500 pounds of force. Three, two, one, dropping. Oh! Whoa. Wow. Oh That's, my God. That like threw it. I mean, look at all the guts that came out, or the brain matter. It's not, you can't even pick it all up. Same sledge, same height, now with the protection of a hard hat. Three, two, one. Whoa. Would you look at that? Yeah. Damn it. What's that sound? Just sends, oh it really sends chills like to echo. my bones. I don't know. You know. Minor scuffs and everything on, on the outside of the melon. But the biggest tail sign is on the back side, pretty much split all the way through. And the support or the neck being shoved all the way up into the, the head. And you can see on here, again, there's deflection. So the four pound sledgehammer has a bigger surface area. Hits right here, there's deflection in the hard hat and then lots of gooey skin in there. The final object to drop is a pipe wrench. At six pounds, from a height of 30 feet, it will have an impact of almost 17,500 pounds of force. Claire? Three, two, one, drop. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Look how clean that cut is. Yeah, it that's... Slice it. Front side looks good. Not so much on the back. The wrench, even though it's heavier, hasn't been doing as much damage because it's got a smaller... Well, it's because it is. That's what it is. It's the shape. But I mean, it's still going to do something to someone, but the sledgehammer has such a bigger circumference. Again, with a hard hat. Wow. Oh my God. That hit dead center. Like... That's with a hard hat on. Here. Oh, lots of brain mush. Look at that. This is actually almost an inch deflection within the top. And then if you flip it over at the suspension, you can see the suspension is completely covered in oh. matter. No amount of PPE that you would use in this situation. No. Would, That's would why we have good. engineering controls. PPE, last line of defense. And how many thousands of those did we put up on a project? Think about our projects. We're going 100 feet up on yeah. boilers and persigs the requirements for lanyards and everything a little bit more, you know, strike home because everything's a little inconvenient at times, but it really just strikes home why that stuff is so important and why your work area cleanliness and all that is a critical factor in safety. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Don't, Don't be, be like, like this melon. melon. Protect, Protect your, your melon. melon. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gallagher. Oh, Fred. Fred is no more. And we're going to have to clean that up.